We are all familiar with the common daisy, but the plant that I'm going to show you today is not your ordinary daisy. Growing up to three feet tall with 20 to 30 petals and a five centimeter wide flower, the oxide daisy is a supercharged version of the Bellis perennis. The perfect habitat for the oxide daisy is in waste grounds, meadows, by roadsides. As you can see here, I'm by the side of a railway right now. So there's a lot of waste ground around and that's where the oxide daisies are growing. But maybe don't forage by the side of the road. Now there are some plants that you could confuse this with. Uh, plants such as scentless mayweed and German chamomile. But they both have much thinner leaves and the smell is extremely different to oxide daisy. If we go up to the plant here, you can see that these leaves are perfect for salads and the flowers are as well. Some people call this plant the moon daisy and it was actually associated by the Greeks with the goddess of the moon, Artemis. Uh, but also apparently Selene is also the goddess of the moon, so I'm not too sure which one is uh, the true goddess of the moon. If anyone is more educated on Greek mythology than me, then please let me know down in the comments. If you've been following along with the channel, then you know that I like to do these quizzes. So here's another one. Is the photo on the left oxide daisy, or is the photo on the right oxide daisy? Well done if you said the picture on the left because the picture on the right is German chamomile. You can tell because the leaves are much finer. Just before I go into quiz number two, I just want to show you that here we've got um, hazelnuts forming, which is uh, amazing. Oh, there's, there's, a, uh, there's an insect on there. Someone tell me what that is in the comments. So now for quiz number two, is the picture on the left uh, oxide daisy or is the picture on the right oxide daisy? Well done if you said the picture on the right, because on the left is scentless mayweed. Same thing again with the leaves. The leaves are much finer than oxide daisy. Right down here we've got red clover and this is a perfect um, development in its growth to show you on camera. You can see these sphere shaped flowers and these leaves, it grows quite tall as well. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to gather some of the plant and show you how to prepare it into a cough medicine when you get home. Once you arrive home with your oxide daisies, you'll want to hang them to dry or put them into a dehydrator. Unfortunately for me, I don't have that much time to film this video, so I'm just going to use the flowers fresh. Once you have your dried flowers, you're going to want to crush them up and infuse them in water. I'll skip this step because I'm using fresh flowers. Leave it to steep for about 15 minutes, and when you come back, you'll have a lovely medicine for coughs and fevers. I am not a doctor, and I must stress that if you have any medical conditions or are taking heavy medication, please consult your doctor first. The oxide daisy or the moon daisy is definitely more of a medicinal plant, and I want to make a video about how you can turn your salads into medicine by adding medicinal plants to them. So if you want to see that, then please leave it down in the comments. Lots of people believe that the only way that we can cure ailments is to go to the pharmacy and buy some chemical that we can't pronounce the name of. Obviously, this is a very good thing in case of serious illness, but for small conditions such as the common cold, I'd like to live in a world where more research is done into these plants. I don't believe that these are miracle plants, but I do know that there are properties that are backed up by science in a lot of these plants that I mentioned on the channel. I also do believe that foraging has mental health benefits. So if you're going foraging for medicinal plants, you're getting the mental health benefit and the physical health benefit. Thank you very much for watching this video, everybody. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.